Now, Hong Kong media tycoon Jimmy Lai has been handed a new prison sentence for attending a protest on the 70th anniversary of Communist China. Now, Lai is already in jail for participating in earlier pro-democracy protests. He had pleaded guilty to the charges of unlawful assembly, for which he was sentenced to 14 months in prison. Now, combined with the new conviction, he will now serve 20 months in jail. Along with Lai, seven other democracy activists were also convicted, including two former lawmakers. Jimmy Lai runs a pro-democracy publication called Apple Daily. In August last year, he was arrested after a dramatic raid on the magazine's offices. Lai was accused of colluding with foreign forces. Now, his arrest followed the implementation of China's controversial national security law. China has largely silenced the pro-democracy movement in Hong Kong. Most of the activists are either in jail or have fled overseas. They are wary of repercussions under the new law, which includes a life sentence. The pro-democracy protest in 2019 was a major embarrassment for China. While Xi Jinping oversaw parades in Beijing, much of Hong Kong was peacefully protesting. The police say that the marches did not have official permission more than 10,000 people were arrested during this period of protests. 2,500 of them were convicted. Now, the INA's crackdown continued through the pandemic in 2020. And this year, they have been uh, banned. They have banned the June 4th vigil, which is marking the Tiananmen Square massacre. Now, the Hong Kong administration has warned that people who participate in the vigil will be charged under the new security law. Most of the world sees this crackdown as a violation of Beijing's promise of one country, two systems. But China adds that uh, they argue that foreign powers are using Hong Kong to spin dissent against the mainland. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.